Welcome, so in this video, we'll be answering this question before us. It's saying, what is the surface area of this triangular prism? Remember, when you're finding the surface area of a shape, what you're doing is finding the area of each of these faces. So I'm gonna begin by finding the surface area of this triangle right here. To do this, we're gonna to have to remember what the area formula for a triangle is. It's base times height divided by two. Now, my base in this case is going to be what? It's going to be 24. The height is going to be nine. Remember the height has to be perpendicular to the base, which means it has to be at 90 degrees to it. Times that by nine, and then you divide it by two. Don't be a hero, use your calculator here. So I'm gonna come over here, and I'm gonna go 24. Oh, you know what I might do first? I'll go hit this button, 24 times nine, and I can put a two there. It's nice and set up, hit enter, it will be 108. 108. Now we're not done yet because I have to add up all the different faces of this shape, right? Well, here's one face there, but would you agree that there's also going to be another one at the back? We can't see it, but we know there's going to be another one there. So I've got two of these areas. So I'm going to times it by two. Again, if you just hit times two, do you see how it brings the answer to that one straight down? Nice and easy, 216. Now this is area, so I'm gonna say 216 centimeters squared. Perfect, and this is going to be important, so let's put a, let's put a, put in a box. Okay, now we're not done yet because we've only found these triangle bits. We have to find the area of all the different parts of it. Now my, doesn't really wanna rub out for me very well. So we're just gonna have to be patient with it. Come on, can I do this? That's better, that's better. Okay, next. Uh, so let's look at another shape here that we can find. What about this one right here? Let's find this. Well, what shape is that? What do we know about it? We know that this right here is 15. And do you see how I have a line there and a line there? That's that's how I knew it was 15, because this is 15 and this is 15. And look there, I've got a line there as well. So this is 15. So this is a square, because all the sides are the same. And I know how to find the area of a square. You just times these together, times the sides together. So it's just gonna be 15 times 15. I'll come to my calculator and I'll go 15 times 15 is equal to 225, 225. And again, what you have to remember is that I have another one of them back here. There's another one of these shapes. So I'm gonna to have to times it by two. So I will times it by two. So 225 times by two is going to be 450 centimeters squared. Like that, perfect. Again, are we finished yet? We are not because we haven't found all the side, all the faces to this. We've got this uh, this face, we've got that face, we've got the triangle faces. But what about the bottom of this thing? We haven't found that yet. So think about the bottom, the base of this shape. It's going to look like this. We need to find what that's going to be. Now, how are we going to do that? Well, we're just going to times together the sides. This side is 24, and this side we know is 15. So I'm just going to go 24 times 15. Come to my calculator, 24 times 15 is 360. 360 centimeters squared. And that's it. We're not done yet, but we have now found all the, uh, all the areas of the relevant faces, but now we actually have to add them together. So let's do that now. I'm gonna go 216 plus 450 plus 360. So I'm adding them all together because I want the total surface area. So I have to add all the surface areas together. That makes sense. Just come to my calculator. 216 plus 450 plus 360 is 1026. So let me grab a new color. This is gonna be my final answer, 1026. Don't forget that it's centimeters squared because I'm dealing with centimeters there. And that's it, that is my final answer. That right there, that is my answer. So I found the surface area of each of the relevant sides. I then added them all up to get my total surface area.
Hopefully this made sense of how to approach this question. Make sure you reach out if you want a, a more, uh, more of an explanation. We can catch up and we can have a bit of a chat as to what exactly is going on here. But hopefully this made it clear as to what it means to find the surface area of something. All right, I'll see you in the next video.